Make sure you go follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Last time on Street Behavior. Not exactly a selling point. So you thinking about it. What makes you say that? Because selling point is about products. You purchase it, you definitely consider it. It work. You could be out of town for a couple of days. Darren's won't know what else. <laughs> yeah, all right. She fell pretty hard head first. Right now she has a cerebral hematoma. Some torn ligaments and there's some fluid around her spine. What the fuck does that mean? This right now. What the fuck does that mean? Right now, I'm not feeling this. I'm, I'm not. I'm, so what are you saying? I'm saying I'd rather be back in my office reviewing my psych consults and dealing with this right now. Okay. Well, that's how you feel. Good luck with those psych consults. The group that got killed like four or five months ago? Kid. My nigga, I'm Jamaican. I live the knife can't kill me. What's killing me is the fact that I'm broke. Yo. Yo. Drowning is defined as respiratory impairment from being in or under a liquid, and it's said to be one of the worst ways to die. Does it compare to a broken heart? I smile to hide the emptiness I feel inside because my heart has been broken so many times. I could just stay here under this water and no one would know anything until I floated to the top. But what would that prove? And what point would that make? Street behavior, no one can save ya Stick em up, son, and run what they gave ya Ain't nothing nice in a heist for the ice Ain't nothing nice in a fight for your life Street behavior, friends will betray ya Thought they were savior, look who done played ya Ain't nothing nice in a heist for the ice Ain't nothing nice in a fight see, for your life I believe I got some enemies who don't wanna see me breathe But even succeed was all about the team But fuck the family when the band made giving a damn about the me Let me see, uh, sick gets real when is all spicy, and the women behind them is all feisty, nasty but nice like Miss L.A. Nicey, give a fuck up, none of these people were here like me, bite me, you ain't doing shit to excite me, coming heavy and I wouldn't take the shit lightly, fuck it, you ain't put a drop up in the bucket, and at the end of the day, nothing is what you're stuck with, if you don't believe, the streets will deceive you, better get some street behavior up your sleeve, uh, cause round here we don't wait for karma, cock and lead a block and shot, nigga trauma, street behavior, one can save ya, stick em up son and run what they gave ya Ain't nothing nice in a heist for the ice Ain't nothing nice in a fight for your life Street behavior, friends will betray ya Thought they were savior, look who done played ya Ain't nothing nice in a heist for the ice Ain't nothing nice in a fight for your life For your life, for your life, for your life see me wearing one of these things, I don't think you'd care. No, you're right, I wouldn't care. In fact, I would be a little bit jealous of the action you're getting. Well, you know what it is? I think you should just go out there and just get some dick. It's like a welcome PSA for what not to do to get a man. 
Well, why are you so hard pressed on getting a man? Because, uh, you know, I want to get married. I've always liked the idea of waking up to the same person every day. You have abandonment issues. What? Yep, you have abandonment issues. I just feel that. Well, you just seem like you're just searching for love all the time and you're not getting the attention you want like that. And yeah, those are usually the signs. I mean, look at what's his name, Lionel? I mean, you went really hard for him. And what is your definition of hard? <laughs> Dude, you got on a plane, I flew halfway across the country with no money and just that plane ticket. <laughs> so, wait, your boyfriend did recognize me? Yeah. He was pretty tweaked out that day, but they came back to him at the end of it. Anyway, I'm so over my doesn't even really matter. I can see him move this very moment and walk right past him without even a glance. <laughs> yeah, right. That has. <laughs> yeah, I know I keep running away. Bitch, if I had a dollar for every time you up and left, I'd be richer than Oprah. I mean, it's only been twice. I just needed a moment to myself to process this information. What's that a process? They set up your man and he fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Duh, bitch, I know it was a setup, but it, I just need to process whether me and Darius should be together or not. Listen, you guys were perfect before this happened. You can't let a setback like this ruin what seems to be a happy relationship. I mean, he wants my booty, and I don't think I'm ready to do that. <laughs> you gave it to Omar just to make up for an argument. Are you sure there's not more to Omar than you're letting on? You think I'm still in love with Omar or something? And you see, that's the attitude right there that makes me think you might still be in love with him. It's cool, I'm telling you. I'm... What, what? What? Did I just speak some truth? Oh, bitch, Omar is here. And damn. Why damn? No, I forgot how fat his ass is. <laughs> I don't know how you could forget that. See, they should erect a statue to that ass to show bottoms what they should look like. That's why I just seen Lionel. <laughs> no fucking way. I mean, what are the odds that he'd be here? Maybe it's a sign. A sign of what? That we should have stood somewhere else? Well, <laughs> maybe that you're not done. He's married. Okay, well that's why they have divorce, so you can ask a motherfucker who done did you wrong. Dude, the last time I seen him, she was kicking me out of his office. Okay, well sometimes anger is a form of passion. It's, you know, deep down he's still thinking about you and he can't have you and, yeah, it's worth a try, huh? Okay, pool time. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna actually mute you downstairs. I'm gonna go have a talk with him real fast. Okay. Don't do anything out, boy. Lionel, I love Darius to death. But maybe this is a sign for you to see if there is something still between you and Omar. Are you telling me to cheat on my husband? Now, I'm telling you to verify whether or not you even should have a husband. I mean, you gave up the cakes to Omar, but you won't give them to your husband? That was only once and I was drunk. Every top has the same excuse every time they take a dick. Anyway, think about what I said. Okay, bye. Funny seeing you here, sir. Can I come in? Sure, it's a free country. Someone, what brings you here? Okay. Well, I'm here because the manager of my new job has a meeting with some buyers for the store, so took me on the tag along. <laughs> wow. Listen, I just wanted to say that I had no knowledge of what went down between Antonio and Darius. In fact, I was just as shocked, if not more. When I found out, then you probably was. And I wanted to apologize if that caused any friction between you and your heart. <clears throat> Lionel, can you please call me back?
Darius, right? Yeah, who the fuck are you? Yo, cool. That's how you're gonna treat a potential customer? Listen, I've been away and I'm looking for a new barber. Alright, that's not my problem. I'm not no fucking $15 barber. My nigga, do I look like a $15 haircut to you? Listen, I have eye profile in certain area. And I need a little discretion at times. <laughs> fuck are you say I hear some shit? You can say something like that, but a little bit on the illegal side. Let's say people think that I am not alive and I like to keep it like that. Feel me? Alright. You're not on the run, right? Because I'm not trying to go to jail fuck with you. Why you think your husband would recommend a fugitive to see his man? Wait. Lionel sent you here? Oh. When was that? So, earlier today, while I was getting ready for his trip. He didn't tell you? No, I haven't, I haven't spoken to him all day. I guess he's been really busy getting ready for his trip. All right, now about this haircut. So what are you trying to get? Surprise me. I can't believe Jonathan finally went home. I mean, you can't blame him. It is his mother. I get it. And she's stable, but she hasn't woken up yet. So it's like, what do you even do? Sometimes being a loved one, being in the room with them, is really what puts them at ease. But you know, you can't put yourself in his shoes. I mean, both your parents are still alive. And right now his mother is having brain and spinal surgery. Honestly, I've been around him and his mom for quite some time now, and before the gay issue came to our head, they were really close. I remember Jonathan running around looking for his mom. I mean, yeah, that's sweet, but all I'm saying is- Help! Help, please! I need somebody to help me! Anybody! Help! Calm please! Down, calm down, calm down. Oh, what happened? We were sleeping, and then I tried to wake him up. I tried to roll him over, but it's, he had all this cocaine stuck to him, and he just wouldn't wake up. He wouldn't wake up. Oh, you think he overdosed? <laughs> yes. Stop the singing thing. Give me some. Now, lock sign hydrochloric. I got it. Thank you. How long has he been down for? I, I, I don't even know. Um, when I was sleeping, I don't know, but at least 30 minutes or so. so he is really kind of slow. Go, Cold Thank blue, you. and I see oh you. Bed G14. Oh my God, that's Miss James. Go. You can go. Come on, come on. You gotta wake up. Do something, something. It's not working. It's not working. Yeah, give, oh, shit. Relax, relax. Just give him some time. He's been down for a minute. I can't relax, man. This is. God, if you just save his pet. God, if you please, if you please save him, I promise. I promise to change my ways. I would not live the life that I'm living right now, God. Just please save him. Save him. Ian. Ian, wake up. Mm. What the fuck? Yo, yo, bro. Where am I? Yo, fuck off me. Yo, yo bro. Up. Ian, calm down, calm down, calm down. Where am I at? You're in the hospital. Your friend here just saved your life. Fuck. Oh, bro. What's going on, man? You overdosed. No. I'm good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Shades. I can't 
can't risk being seen with you right now. <laughs> you act like we on some FBI secret agent type shit or something. When dealing with gay people, we might as well be. You know we got some secret agent type skills and shit like that. Anyways, I handled that situation last night. Good. My cousin's off to Miami as well. So now that I got my father to hire line now, you gonna give me some masks? In due time, boo. The deed needs to be done before that'll happen. Nigga, bottoms are a dime a dozen. You and your cousin act like y'all got the bomb booty or something. Have you seen his ass? And you gotta taste this to know it's worth. Is that right? Yeah. So, go ahead and deal with Darius and make sure he doesn't come into contact with Lionel. I already handled Lionel. Told him to take all the time he needs. That's good. Good, good. Hopefully they'll get back together. Why do you care? The way Darius played me and the way Lionel played my cousin, it would be my pleasure to break up that happy home. Yeah, you're right. They don't deserve to be happy. Hmm. Yeah, I forget that you and Darius used to be boyfriends. Yeah, he left me for that nigga? And I had to kiss that dude? Wait, you kissed Lionel? Trust, trust me, it was all part of the plan. These lips are only for you. D what do you think you're doing? Mom. You don't get any of these either. Have a good day, I'm going to the spa. This nigga being a big kid, big candy. sexual chemistry, but after that, what's, what is there between us? I actually couldn't agree with you more. I'm going to go home to my husband and, and fix this. Good. Don't worry. I won't. This will be our secret. No. That's the problem. Me and Darius never lie to each other. And that's exactly why I was mad. I'm going to go home and tell him what happened and talk this over like an adult. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna go back to my room, all right? Take care of yourself, Lionel. <laughs> Okay, before we begin today, I'd like us to start with the serenity prayer. All right? God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change it. Oh, yes, you do. Come on, let's try it. The courage to change the things that can.
and the them to know the difference. Exactly. Ian, are you not going to say anything? You know you have four weeks to complete this course before you can return to your residency program. I really just don't care. I'm sure you do. Somewhere deep down inside of you, we've just got to find it. Can I just sit here, please? Congratulations to you guys on completing this four-week program. Now, as you as you move forward, I encourage you to please keep going to your meetings outside the hospitals. All right? And congratulations to Ian on completing his four-week program and returning to his residency. Yes. I appreciate it. You know, thank you guys for being there, and the support and the love. I don't think I could have made it without you guys. It, you know, I know this is a long road to my recovery, but I'm willing to bang it out. All right. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. I need to have a word with uh, Dr. Ian. Okay. All the best to you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Dr. Tucker, I am so proud of you. Thanks. Do you know what, what your triggers are now? Yeah, stress and anxiety. And what are you going to do if they come up again? Um, well, if I do have to go through some sort of setback, I know to reach out to my sponsor mm -hmm. and to try to attend more, you know, meetings just to keep myself going. Yeah. You know, keep my mental together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how are you feeling about returning to work? Um, who? <laughs> they really look at me like I'm crazy, my coworkers. Uh, but I guess, you know, I'll take it day by day and see how it goes. Yeah, that stuff will happen, but I want you to stay focused and don't let anything shake you. You're going to be just fine. I'm very, very proud of you. Thank you. Congratulations. I can't change the things that I've done in the past, but I know for sure that with God's help, I can create a new path. <laughs> From drug dealer to profit. You, you don't, you don't get it. Yo, while you was there unconscious, me dragging your body, and you was unconscious, I prayed, like I sincerely prayed that if God were to save you, that I would change my ways, I would change my life forever. Don't do that. Don't use me as an excuse to get your shit together when you should have been doing that from the jump. That's, that's true. That's, that's all valid. But you gotta find inspiration from somewhere. You know what I'm Look, I ain't even coming for all of this. I, I just wanna thank you and, and tell you that what, what, what we've done, we, we can't do that anymore. We can't mess around anymore, have that anymore. Why? With you, does it always go back to sex? This, this, please tell me, why can't we have sex again? Because it's, it's not right, man. It's, it's, it's not God's way. <laughs> you just said that. Another one of those. And what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Okay. Well, thank you, and God bless. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Sitting there fucking waiting. Should have given me fucking nerves. Fucking hungry, tired, irritated. What's fucking bullshit going on? Yo, boy. It's Russ. I'm sitting there at this fucking diner, boy. 
Where the fuck is you at, man? You know I don't like waiting on no fucking body. What's going on with you? Yo, what's good, boy? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I'm having that effect on people lately. So what's good? <laughs> boy, you supposed to be fucking dead. Can't keep a good Jamaican though, what can I say? But nah, I and my cousin went and identified some random nigga body as mine, so we cool. Yo, you always been a sneaky ass motherfucker, that's what I like about you, boy. But enough for nothing, I'm glad you're back, because I can finally trust somebody a little bit. Ah, just a little? Nigga, you know I don't fuck with nobody around here no more, boy. So what's the fucking plan? Alright, we have to get rid of this detective. That we do, but I ain't seen this nigga in fucking weeks, boy. There's a key to this. This man and his doctor, Singleton. You gotta really follow this bitch and she will lead you into him. Who the fuck is following her? Who's doing this? My nigga, you have all of these kind of boys around here, you cannot get this shit done. Dude, ever since they killed fucking King, all them niggas found other fucking suppliers. What so the fuck do you want me to do? I left and y'all fucked everything up. No, not quite, son. But you for died. the record, Travis still kill King. Boy, it's crazy. Cause you supposed to be fucking dead. If we let you know so much, who the fuck you think did it? All right. Travis was King's bitch. Yeah, we know that. Travis loves money. Why the fuck do you think this nigga gonna try and kill his walking ATM? So who you think did it? I say Terrell, or is. Brother, sister, there's some that gay ass shit. Boy, for real, stop with the gay show, boy. Shit is stupid. It's just ridiculous, my nigga. Cut the yeah, bullshit. I heard that you, some faggot now too. But you, you still my bro. We're still cool, but not like that. But we're cool for now. For now, boy. But at the end of the fucking day, if they kill fucking king. They coming for your stupid ass too, and then I'm after that shit. Listen, we gotta handle. Them, and also this detective. And Detective Travis is priority number one. Facts. Alright. Yo, I'm tired as fuck. Why? What was you doing last night? A whole lot of everything. Yo, this dude don't let me sleep no more. Huh. That's a good thing. Because Derek, he be working crazy. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, but he's not an officer no more. So, like, what police are you looking for? Well, he didn't tell me this directly, but apparently that Detective Travis, he's been missing for over a month and no one has seen or heard from him. Yo, you know my homegirl downtown, right? The one that um, work at the beauty supply store with the good hair that you like? Oh yeah, Keisha, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she was telling me all the drug dealers were talking out there saying that he killed King. Wow, I mean, I remember Terrell used to hang out with those people, but I can't imagine Travis killing King though. So who you think did it? I can't even get my head done without one of y'all following me. Damn. Ain't no one following you. I get my head done by Parrish. Darius, why didn't you tell me she comes here? I do have a name. Jennifer, can I help you with something? <laughs> I'm gonna let that slide, but back to what you was talking about. So who you think killed uh, King? I don't know. One of y'all probably. I mean, who has more to gain? One of y'all. Take over the streets means you're in the streets less, means you have more money in your pocket. I may not run with y'all anymore, but I know the game. Yeah, whatever. Just watch yourself, right? Yo, the way in that area outside. Yo, why you like talking with her, him? I don't know, I get confused. I, like, she get mad over the name thing. You know what, that is none of my business. Just please hurry up, because I do not want to be here when Jane was finished. What's good, bro? Never mind, just waiting. How are you? Yo, I'm cool, but my brother's ex was about to get got. But I'll calm down real quick. Oh, wow. Yo, ain't you Lil Z? Yeah. Yo, I fucks with your music, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Your old shit was better, though. Fuck you mean? I'm saying, when you first came out, you was all about the streets and shit, had the braids. Now you all dark and lovely. And you know, I'll be with you in one second. What about me? I'm gonna see it first. Jenna has an appointment. I bet you Jenna don't pay your ass half as much as I do. You're right, but you still waiting. No, she fights you with her little sexy ass. You're back up, that's my man. I ain't know you was in the chicks. Yeah, nobody knows, and I like to keep it that way. Yo, you ain't gotta worry about me though. I got shorty at home. She be working my nerves. <laughs> I'm sure. I never did a girl before though. What? 
Yeah, I mean, my first album, I was 15. It ain't that much time for dating. What about all those dudes on the red carpet and shit with? Industry setups? That shit ain't real. Damn. Yo, I wonder if I got a shot Rihanna then. She look like a freak, yo. <laughs> but if the rumor's the truth, she done ran through mad niggas. Nah, she just ain't meet the right tongue yet, my nigga. <laughs> Come on, you know. Nurse James, mm. you've been in a horrible accident. How are you feeling? I feel like shit. Does that answer your question? <laughs> These sessions are mandatory just so we can track how you're doing after the brain surgery. I'm fine, okay? Other than this itching underneath the bandage, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Listen, can't you just clear me so that I can go home? I wish I could, but I can't right now. We have to have these sessions until the bandages come off. Oh. And until you're off the pain medication. Oh, 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 oh no, no, that's not going to work for me, okay? That is not going to work for me. Listen. I'm just here to listen to you. All right, all right. Okay? Yeah. We can talk about anything you want in these sessions. As, as far as I know, and I've been in this hospital for a long time, things are always better when you're around. Thank you, Walter. I'm just, it's just been tough for me mentally. You understand? I mean, I'm not used to having someone do things for me. I'm self-sufficient. I've always been self-sufficient. So why do you feel the need to, to, to be in charge all the time? Well, why the fuck not? Huh? I mean, I've been taking care of my son on my own for 20 years or more, and... No, I don't expect anything from anybody. I don't expect anything from anybody. You understand? Oh. Lynette, are you okay? Are you in pain? Oh. What do you think? Why else would I be taking the fucking pills? How are you managing with the pain? I still, I still can't stand for long periods of time when I'm getting nauseous or these constant, constant headaches. Have you thought about maybe contacting Dr. Keller and maybe having a CT scan just to oh, kind of check no. and see how the swelling's reducing? No, that's not necessary. I know it's not necessary. I see you're still wearing the head wrap. How about you go get your hair done or something? It might make you feel better. <laughs> really? It, can I go? Yes. Yes, you can. Great. Lynette, you have my number. If you need me, please call. Lynette, any time, any hour, call me. Okay? Thank you, Walter. So where your cousin at? He's out running some errands. So you got me sneaking around here and your cousin not even here? No, well, this is his place. Yo, y'all two grown ass gay men at. Whatever. All I know is that I'm gonna get my own shit soon and I'll be out of here. Yo, you can always just come to my place. Dude, you live way behind God's shoulders. Ain't nobody have time for that. I know the dick guy. You can travel. Mm -hmm. That's the true thing. That's fucked up. Mm -hmm. This is as good enough to travel for? Hell yeah. Let me get some of that now. <laughs> I'm sure you would want that. But my cousin's gonna be home soon and you gotta go. So you gonna leave me with blue balls? I'm sure I have to five times. I ain't got nothing left. You know I want some more, right? Let me. What you gotta go? I don't know what to do. We haven't seen each other in weeks. No phone calls, no texts, no nothing. I'm stressed. Why? Because I love him. <clears throat> Could have fooled me and probably him too. I tell him I love him all the time. Showing somebody and telling them are two different things. I do show him. <laughs> How? 
by badgering him to marry you or to adopt children. Sweetie, that ain't love. That's age and desperation. Why are you always coming for me? I'm not coming for you. I'm just being rude with you as your best friend. You... That shit's not real love. That's fake love. That type of love that only comes when somebody's lonely. I'm just saying, once you have real love, you don't want to lose it. I know I don't. Hey guys, what's up? Hey. Well, shit. Maybe I should go away and fuck my ex-boyfriend too. Better much? Well, damn. <laughs> no, no, I'm just playing. Just having my husband back home. And you have me to thank for that. <laughs> and I take thank yous and jewelry. What are you hoes talking about anyway? Walter, and the fact that I haven't seen his ass in weeks. How? Why don't you do what bitch is doing? Just show up at his job. Mm. I didn't think about that. Listen, if he wouldn't have came home, I would have did the same thing. See, that's better advice yeah. than my best friend here was giving me. Mm. Well, because I was trying to give you some real insane advice, but you know what? I'm out of it. F fuck it. Do what you want. Good. I will see you guys later. Alright. Have a good night. Why did you tell him to do that? Oh, I need some entertainment. Like, we haven't been fighting. <laughs> so fucked up. So you just gonna take my soda? Yep. What's up with you and Lil Z? Ain't nothing up with me and Lil Z. Why not? That's paper right there. Yeah, that's all I good, but I ain't trying to be nobody cross the case. Yo, I would love to not have to run the streets no more and get my paper up. If other ways to get that little change you be running the streets for. Little change? I guess money. Yeah, but that shit ain't consistent. You get customers just like I do. Sometimes they come and then they got their moments where they stop. Unlike you, I can walk in, it's no shade. Yeah, whatever. You should make the smart choice like your brother. Yo, what's the difference though? He got a degree. I'm sure y'all was given the same opportunities. Nah. It took me a while to figure shit out. Had I known in high school, I would have probably made better choices. You know, I ain't really fit in with the girls and the dudes was always confused about me, so shit was just hard. I spent my childhood going to slumber parties, looking at my homegirls grow up like, damn, she's sexy. <laughs> that sounds nice though. Nah, she ain't sweet. It's like being in the candy store with no money. Tell me to put you one in the dryer and tell me to come in here. Alright. Anyway. <coughs> Yo. Mm. Nah, that's my kind of woman. Yo, damn, it's like that? Sit your ass down. I'm tired of you cutting out your weave, going on TV, looking crazy with no type of style. Shit, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sydney. Area code. This is your interest in being 10 over here, and this is your diluted over here. Take these two times a day with food. And where am I supposed to get food from? What? It, it may not be much, but you can get a meal or two from that. You're right. It's not much. Is there anything I could possibly do for you? No. Even if I was intimate, that can't happen. But you should really let me run some tests on you, just so I can make sure this combination works for you. Listen, I ain't in the system, and I don't want to be. You were actually in the system the moment I diagnosed you. Yeah, reasons why I had to run away from home. Couldn't let my family know I was some diseased faggot. Please don't talk like that. It is not the same stigma as it used to be. And I'm pretty sure that if your parents were looking for you then, they're still looking for you now. They were looking for me. They had found me already. Well, how? All those times I got arrested for panhandling and solicitation? Yeah, if they really wanted to find me, they would have found me. Well, did you give them your name? No. How do you expect anybody to find you? I don't know. No, I'm out. Thanks for the pills. All right, be safe, Sydney.